Hello, friends. Welcome back right away to some more Cthulhu Reno Lock. Really interesting deck idea. Um, well, there we go. We have some Cthulhu and we have a good hand lock card. I, I don't even know if this deck is really. If it's fair to say that this is really. Yeah, if, I was, if I was going second, this would be a great card to have. Being able to coin that out against Warrior is very, very strong. Um, so yeah, I say if it doesn't play as a true hand lock, I think, I mean, I do have the Twilight Drake, but I don't, okay, that's still kind of good. I think this is a favored matchup for the, do you hear it's for the Warlock from here right now, Listen but I don't think it's necessarily, uh, what is it going to be, a 4-7? No, that's okay, that's good against Warrior as well. Coining out War Axe. That's okay. Twilight Drake is good. It'll probably eat and execute. I think the I think this is a favored matchup in my favor here. That's gonna potentially be a big card. Well, I guess Warrior's really only running the two six. The two six taunts right now. Shield slam into execute. I'm assuming. Do it. You know you want to. Do it. So yeah, so next turn I'm kind of conflicted over tapping. And only playing the 3-3 versus playing the 4-2. And the issue with the tap is then that I get an extra card for Emperor to discount. Ooh, that's very good. So I think I have to... Oh. That's the best one for me to... Yeah, tap last, obviously. You know how I like to play here. So one of the things that I do have in this deck is the triple Cthulhu combo. In that I can do... If I'm able to Emperor and discount either Bran or whatever the 7 mana 7 9 is that replaces Cthulhu, what is it, the Dark Caller, Mist Caller? I don't know what it is. You know what card I'm talking about. Then I'm able to do that twice with comboing that with Bran, and I think that's more of a consistent sort of thing with. Oh, and a Bash. Okay, that's why, that's why that was more debated. That's fair. That's reasonable, actually. So, I mean, things, I think this is a very good turn to play this. I've got a lot of things in hand. It, it, there's there's lots of removal that Warrior has still at their at their disposal, obviously. But I got a lot of things discounted. This this can have potential for lots of fun and interesting things. Having this at 7 might be useful if I'm forced to Jiraxis. Which I probably will be. What else is going on? Another Bash? I don't know what my opponent's been doing. Maybe my opponent's playing purely a Fatigue. In which case, I should probably start, stop tapping right now. Which I think I'm going to do. Because I haven't seen too many threats, really. They did bash a couple times, but... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of take it easy right now. I'm not too sure what I'm up against right now. I just realized. So, yeah, I was about to tap. But... Should I put the 1-3 out? No. Yeah, that makes it kind of weaker. Yeah, I'm going to stop tapping, though. I have enough damage to deal with to still be dealing damage through armor, so I feel okay. Yeah, I feel like that's a decent Black black Knight target here. I mean, I'm not going to get really a better opportunity, I don't think. And we'll see what happens here, I don't know. If I start seeing some, maybe this is just really a control warrior where I should have been tapping the whole time. Oh well. That's okay. Into Brawl now is kind of bad, but... I mean, I can just kind of ping through here and still be dealing a lot of damage. And if that's the case, then I'm definitely going to be... Definitely going to regret not having been tapping this whole time. Yeah. Although that kind of makes me... That does make me a lot weaker. That's a great... How many do I have? Four, eight? I'll just do this and go face. This does make me a lot weaker to... Brawl now. Well, you know, having a 1-1 one is never good for brawls, but we'll see. This is still 8, 10, 11 damage. This is 19 damage. Eight, 8, 9. 8, 9 plus 9 is 18 damage. Uh, that's okay. That's okay as well. Unless my opponent's really able to continue to ping themselves. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That was a really good play there. That was really good. Um, 
I might heal up my Black Knight, I think, actually. Mm, or am I going to buff my Cthulhu a whole bunch? I like that play as well. well. I'll buff it twice more. Get it up to 11. Um... Wait, can I do everything, or is that way too greedy? Oh, I think that's committing too much to board, actually. If I do that... Heal... Maybe I should have kept this heal for later, but... We'll see. I still feel like I might need to play... Although my opponent's really draw, way, way outdrawn me now. Maybe I should have been tapping. Playing way too conservatively. That's okay. We got our big discount. We can still do things. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying. Is that worth a siphon soul? Let's see if I can figure out a new strategy to get through here. Four and two, three is no good. I'm trying to do something with Cthulhu. Um, I don't want to have to use my Siphon Soul if I can avoid it because I don't think I have Big Game Hunter or if and when Grom. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of scary, huh? I mean, I can Siphon Soul this, attack, attack. Do I still have coin? No, I don't have coin anymore. Otherwise, I would do Siphon Soul and Usher of Souls. Oh, that really stinks, huh? Um, I can't... Oh, Siphon Soul did not get discounted. That's really too bad. Yeah, that's kind of scary just to, for the... For the massive combo that Warrior can run. I mean, they've, my opponent has been holding a ton of cards, right? Yeah, I don't think I can allow... As, as silly th as this is, maybe? I think tap is fine here. Hey, that's a Sylvanas. Okay. Definitely want a Sylvanas next turn. Probably Sylvanas Pat. Uh. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll throw out this just because I feel like I need to do something to empty my hand a little, which I know, but whatever, Brawl. The thing you always have to worry about with these warriors is Brawl. This is definitely a controly warrior. And we're getting through. We're fine here. That's as good a bad top deck as we can expect at this point. Yeah, doing very minimal damage, but that's okay. We'll get through. We're going to punch through eventually. More X, whatever. I can really live with that. Slowly chipping away two damage. I might want to get my other Cthulhu buff. I might want to do some Cthulhu buffing if I have the opportunity to here, to be honest. Back to work. It's fine. And an execute? Okay, I think we're going to go for some Cthulhu buffs here. Oh, wait, do we have lethal? 10. 10 plus... No, we don't. Yeah, I think we're going to go for double buffs here. Uh, do we want to get rid of that? I think I'm going to hold on to Ooze for Gore Howl. I think Gore Howl just has much more impact. I'm assuming a Gorhal would, would overwrite the War Axe to take out the 5-6. And I mean, now we do have... Now we have 17 damage from hand, which I think is just obviously much more significant. 17. Eat a Shield Slam. Is that lethal? No, that's fine. That's fine, man. How much damage is that? That's one off, right? Are we willing to set my opponent at one is the answer right now. And I would have to say no. Uh, let's see what we get here. 
I'll take another one of these, I guess. I still might be done here, actually. I should have taunted up. I definitely don't like that move at all. Yep, okay, so let's pretend we live in the world where I taunted up there. Instead of playing that. I think taunting up is definitely the safer play. I know I'm at 27, but I feel like there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Eh, five cards. There could be a lot of AoEs still coming down from my opponent's hand. They haven't played too many. They haven't played any whirlwinds. They could just go ahead and lose. I mean, you know, that's also an option. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go face. I think that's just math. I won, yeah, for sure now. That's fine. Um, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna count. I know that's it's a wrap. Oh, was I supposed to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, we're... Setting my opponent at one. Oh baby. I can't believe I just did that when I had power overwhelming. Oh. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean it matters because that's embarrassing. And I shouldn't be sharing this but. You know what? Honesty is the best policy. That's one thing I've been learning. There's a life lesson worked into a little hearthstone. That's generally uh, what you want to do. Take everything that you experience in life. I don't know what I'm talking about. I could have won this game and been on to the next one at this point. If there's some crazy OTK right now, I'm going to not be very happy. I really deserve this loss right now. Oh, that's so scary. What card is this? Oh, thank you. I mean, I win no matter what, though. Oh, because of this one. Ooh, I want a Jaraxxus. Just because for style points at this point. Woo! That was ridiculous. I and I was I was calling the OTK obviously with the ward in there. And why would I play like this? Why would I do these things? I don't know. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I pay attention next time. I even said both cards to win. It's okay. We, positive thing which we still made it out of that one. I'll see